Related to pandemic, we have learned to, uh, to, to design a different way for, for our um, teaching sessions. Every generation has its way and post-pandemic generation will be the video calls generation because video calls now is, is, is as, as usual, is, is so, so common for us. So, uh, um, with the help of, uh, of uh, video calls, it was easy for me as a teacher to uh, keep me close to a lot of people around the world, my students at home, at uh, any places. So, that was a, a really nice opportunity. In the other hand, by means of video calls, uh, I lose the contact the smiles and the faces and the looks of my students and this is the, 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 the sad aspect for me. The problem is the quality, not the quantity, but the quality. And uh, in a digital society with high quality connection, the speed for connection is faster, so the speed for learning is faster and the possibility of, um, of uh, getting some, uh, the best goals is much better, higher than in the poor uh, communities with a low quality connection, with a low speed connection, because the, the possibility of reaching to all the contents, all the free or accessible contents or available contents uh, for learning in the world now is, is practically infinite. So smart devices are the main uh, tool or the most helpful tool for learning in this moment for all the population, young, medium age, or uh, uh, older people, for everybody, because it's easy to get the, the possibility uh, to find the information. It's really easy. For sure, because uh, there are some uh, families in which there are one smart device for all the families. So the problem is the quantity, not the quality, because there are a small amount of hours for each person, but in a quite rich family, each member has their own device. So there are 24 hours of availability. And this is the, 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 the digital, the digital uh, uh, gap, in my opinion, is related to the quality of contents, but the quantity of time you can spend in, uh, in learning by means of, a, of a device. If, uh, if you have to, to share your device with your family, your friends or your, your brothers or sisters, it's much difficult to, to reach the, the goals for learning. Not yet, because um, there are important part of teachers who are analogic and our students are from the digital age, so there is a, an important gap. So we are not digital natives, but we can learn how to, how to keep close to our students, but we are not digital uh, natives. And the, the teachers, we have been an important effort to get us close to our students' speed in, in, in reaching these goals. But it's not always, it's not always easy and it's not always uh, good enough because the, the, the changes are so, 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 so fast. It's this, this, the tsunami. And in this tsunami, sometimes it's so difficult for us to keep always in, a, in, in contact with the, the last 
uh, the last uh, version or any program or the last version or so that's the moment when you say oh my god I'm uh, crushed with the tsunami no that's that the tsunami has dragged me uh, this is the problem but uh, in my opinion teachers we have been a very important effort to keep us in the level for doing in our best. For sure, with uh, with a coach of with help for us to understand technology or for keep us closer to the technology uh, uh, needs, then it is the moment when we are relaxed and we can uh, be in, we, we can be involved in a digital process of teaching and learning um, in a comfortable way but without this help uh, is the, the starting point for technophobia because you say oh, oh this is so difficult for me I, I can't I can't do it but my, my message is Everybody can do it. You need time, you need help, and maybe a coach. But with this help and time and keep calm, you can do it, for sure. Well, the opportunity is related to avoiding technophobia, as I said before because technophobia keeps the people far from the opportunities. So, uh, technophobia is, is, the, the, is the, the illness of the population, of part of the population who say, okay, I don't want this. And uh, in my opinion, with, uh, with uh, lovely and friendly uh, ways to to teach the teachers how to teach the teachers uh, in order to avoid this, this technophobia is the only way to keep this, uh, this uh, group of very relevant people as teachers far from the um, I don't want to do this. So we can involve all the people with, uh, with the nice strategy of teaching our teachers. Learning is, is the, the, the best adventure in life. It's the best adventure. By, by, by means of the knowledge, uh, you can feel confident, you can feel sure about the, the possibilities or the, the best option or best answer. So knowledge and learning are the, the main and the best adventure. And for, for uh, for running this adventure, you need information. You need information uh, provided amicably, friendly, closely, and with love. And technology is, is, is love. So, uh, history is important, of course, mathematics and science, but technology also. So the history of technology and the history and knowing about the people who made it possible is, is important to know because it's part of our learning, it's, our, it's part of our knowledge. Technophobia exists as well as is related to fear. So, uh, by means of the knowledge and by means of the knowing about the, the most uh, lovely part of technology, this fear disappears and technophobia can, can disappear also. So we need to eradicate this technophobia. It's the only way uh, for spreading technology in every aspect of our lives, in every day, in every moment, in everything, because without technology there is no life. So we need to eradicate this uh, this uh, technophobia is is mm -hmm. necessary.
Digital education is the future because at this moment uh, analogic education is a part but digi digital education is the future and an hybrid uh, education is the best future because you can combine the very best of each teaching way. So in my opinion the, the hybrid uh, methodologies of learning and teaching will provide the best options for all the uh, scenarios in teaching and learning because uh, every society can decide in every moment which part of analogic or with, or with part of uh, digital uh, teaching would be the best in, at, at that moment not related to, this, to that content. So the hybrid, um, the hybrid way, in my opinion, will be the best, but of course with an important part of digital. With a screen in the middle of between us, uh, it's more difficult to establish this relationship in a confident way. It could be possible, of course, but face to face, I can see your eyes. I can see your smile. I can, I can feel your vibration. So we are like, a, like you know, a, a, like a violins in a, in orchestra when a violin is uh, playing. The close violins start to play alone because the vibration. No? Uh, in face to face, you can get this. In digital, it's more difficult. I want to say to the people and the families and the boys and the girls the hybrid ways will be the best. The hybrid way uh, by combining analogic and, and digital, and the hybrid way of combining all the talents boys and girls and young people and old people working together, we can grow up stronger and much better.